I don't know why some people even think that Mihawk's attack at Marinford was his strongest attack simply because he wanted to test Whitebeard, when in reality, that was a casual, nameless power slash. Mihawk's rivalry with Shanks is the real deal because he's the closest he has with another swordsman, even though Shanks isn't necessarily a pure swordsman. He's all he's got, and once Shanks lost an arm, he no longer feel challenged. He was probably the only guy he can go all out with in a sword duel. That's why he agreed to train Zoro in the end, so that he could have have a new dueling partner in the future. They keep underestimating Mihawk's power as the strongest swordsman in the world, as if Zoro's goal is little more than just be at a Yonko commander's level of power. This is why I believe that Mihawk is at least Yonko level. I also expect him to have Conqueror's Hockey, because imagine for yourself how he can fight against Shanks without Conqueror's Hockey. Yes, Armament Hockey can deal significant damage, but going head-to-head -head with a top-tier Conqueror's Hockey user like Shanks can't happen without Conqueror.